for your loss of your loved one. Chief Shepherd was a, not only a friend, not only a Koda, but he was a younger brother to me. He was one of those special people that I, in my career, as Russell was talking about, in a long political career, that has seen a bright star coming. And I wanted to uh, do as much as I can to help mentor him. And I didn't know his Fort Berthold side, you know, I didn't, I didn't know that he was, you know, his family was from Fort Berthold too. And uh, he was newly elected and he just kind of showed up, you know, right beside me. And I kind of looked at him, you know. And he had a name badge that had uh, Chairman Robert Shepard. And I was like, oh, you're sissing in Wapiton, oh, yeah, okay, oh, okay, okay. But he never went away, he just kind of kept right beside me. <laughs> So I looked at him and I said, do you play basketball too? <laughs> sure enough, he did. And I actually ended up even taking him to Hawaii. And a lot of those uh, ball players, he had some pretty nifty moves. And he could shoot the three. You know, and he was really good underneath the basket, you know. And because uh, we were playing some tall timber in Hawaii. JC was with us. And... Uh, you know, you're not that slow. They used to say you were the fastest man on two feet under 300 pounds. <laughs> Sorry about that, JC. <laughs> but they really, they really said, who, who is this guy? You know, from Hawaii, they wanted to know who he was. So I said, his name is uh, Robert Shepard. Where's he from? And I said, he's from Sisson and Wampin in uh, Oyate, South Dakota. Oh, he's, he's a good ball player, you know. And <clears throat> so anyway, then I said, well, I'm going to try this again because he played really well. I'm going to take him to Las Vegas. Gee, he's too young. <laughs> it was so 40 and over, he was 39. <laughs> so I, I couldn't, couldn't play with that. He had a long face. He was sitting on the bench. That's why you got a coach us now. You can't, you can't play. <laughs> They're checking IDs. <laughs> it's your fault, you're too young, just 39 years old. I want to make mention of uh, a little bit of our time in political leadership. If I was to describe his, uh, his political career, I would say real tribal leader. What does that mean? What does a real tribal leader mean? Number one, they have to care for their people. Number two, they have to know the culture, language, and values of their tribe. Number three, they put their tribe and they put their people first, not themselves or their family. And when you're asked to speak, be it in Washington, as Russell had talked about, be it at any kind of a meeting, I see there's two presidents that Robert has got pictures of up here that he spoke strong. He did all four of those things. He was, he was coming fast. That star was coming that fast. And then I started to know, you know, that's who Robert is, okay. I'm gonna keep helping him as much as I can. So I had the opportunity to probably testify too many times to, too many times to count. We were in DC. And he asked me, he said, uh, it's going to be a lot of tribal chairmen. How do we get a word in, Tex? How do, we, how, do we, how do we get to the front of the line? I said, well, you know that moderator, that BIA moderator that's sitting right there? Don't listen to him. <laughs> when it's your turn, they can't tell you what to say. You tell them what you want to say about your tribe and your tribe's people and what their needs are. Didn't have to tell him twice. He spoke strong for the Sisson and the Wampin and the Wiyot. They talked about those disparities in healthcare, in housing, and economic development, education. He really prioritized education. So it's really appropriate that today we're at the college. And I hope something gets established for him here or somewhere in the tribe. You know, if they can put faces on Mount Rushmore, 
for presidents who went against Indians. And we have a real tribal leader here. We should dedicate something and honor him permanently. Don't you agree? Yes. In closing, I just, uh, I just want again want to tell you, the Sisson and Wapen and Beyonce people, the Shepherd family, how much he meant to me. He wasn't, a, he was a friend, but he was, he was a brother. He was a bright star. And now that he's going on to the spirit world, who's going to fill his shoes? Maybe it'll be one of his family, one of his children. Maybe it'll be somebody else here. That's the legacy that Robert was leaving us because he loved leadership, he loved to serve, he loved his people, and he loved education and sports. And he would want a young leader to continue on in his legacy. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I appreciate it very much. How's it good, Oscar?